Today we're going to talk about another major impresario, Green DeWitt. Green DeWitt was different from the other impresarios we've studied so far. De Leon and Austin came from families that were relatively wealthy. Green DeWitt grew up poor in Kentucky. However, his wife, Sarah Seeley, had a lot of money. When Green DeWitt found out that Stephen F. Austin had brought settlers from America and sold them land in Texas, he wanted to do the same thing in order to make some money. However, he did not have enough money to make the trip from Kentucky to Mexico. If you look at the map, Kentucky is way over here. He had to find the money to travel all the way from Kentucky to Mexico, ask them for permission to bring settlers from the United States, go back home and get the settlers, and then bring them to, to land in Texas. That was going to take a lot of money, just like it would take a lot of money to make that trip today. He borrowed all of the money he needed from his wife. Green DeWitt knew, that, however, that Austin had a head start in bringing people to Texas, so he had to be in a big hurry to get people to come there. So he was not careful about who he chose to come live in his colony. This is a map of Austin's colony. This is where he sold land. There's his city, San Felipe de Austin. Here's Martin de Leon's colony and his city, Victoria. The land that Green DeWitt picked to sell was right here. And his major city that he started was Gonzales. When you think about how careful Austin was of the people he chose and how careful de Leon was when he chose his people, which colony do you think had the most trouble? If you said Green DeWitt's, you would be right. If you look really carefully, you might also see that Green DeWitt and De Leon appear to have a place where they share the same land. I'm going to zoom in here so that you can see. You can see that there's a place where Green DeWitt's land overlaps De Leon. That's because a long time ago when they made maps, they weren't always exactly perfect. As we already know, remember La Salle and Cabeza de Vaca, they both got lost. Well, when the maps were made of the land that DeWitt could sell, DeWitt was accidentally given land that De Leon had already sold. Now imagine you are one of De Leon's settlers. You have already bought land, you have already built your farm here, and then Green DeWitt settlers come in and say, wait a minute, we just paid money for this land. Get off. Now remember, De Leon settlers had been chosen very carefully. So they calmly went back to De Leon and said, would you please write a letter to Mexico and tell them that we bought this land first and ask them what we should do. We'll wait until the letter comes. But DeWitt's people did not feel that way. They wanted their land now. So DeWitt's colonists started fighting with De Leon's colonists. Now, DeWitt probably should have tried to call them, calm them down, but he didn't. He argued with De Leon himself, personally. This caused a lot of problems between DeWitt and De Leon. De Leon wanted to late, wait until the letter came back from Mexico. DeWitt had no patience for such. They argued and argued and argued, until finally, there, became to be a lot of, there came to be a lot of problems between the two. In fact, at one point, De Leon was so mad at Green DeWitt that he actually hired a bounty hunter and told the bounty hunter to go kill DeWitt and bring his head back in a bag. That's a pretty big argument. Thankfully, they, Green DeWitt and Martin De Leon had Stephen F. Austin as their neighbor. He stepped in to calm the two men down and asked them to sit down and talk. He convinced them to settle it before the letter came back. They found other land for Green DeWitt's settlers, and De Leon's settlers stayed in place. But De Leon and Green DeWitt never talked to each other again. Soon after, both Green DeWitt and Martin De Leon died of the same disease, cholera. With both of the leaders to the colonies passed away, who do you think the people here look to for leadership. If you thought Stephen F. Austin, you were right. 
Soon all these people in this area looked to Stephen F. Austin as their leader, which is one of the reasons why Stephen F. Austin is called the father of Texas. I know you're going to ask, what are these places down here? Well, these two are the only other really successful colonies in this part of Texas during this, this time in history. Remember, these people came from the United States, United States, Mexico. But these two colonies came from Ireland. Their main cities were San Patricio and Refugio. I can't wait to tell you what happens next to these colonies because it's one of the most exciting parts of Texas history. But for now, you're going to fill out a chart on Green DeWitt just like you have for De Leon and Austin. Don't panic if you find his chart a little hard to fill out. Just do the best you can and then move on to writing. We're going to go over the chart together at the end of class.